live from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is Shop Local TV with your host, Rabin Rogue. Welcome to Shop Local TV. I'm your host, Rabin Roque, and today we are interviewing Shannon from Permanent Makeup. By Shannon. By Shannon. Yes. And tell us where you're located. I'm located in Midtown at 1223 South Peoria, just not real far from downtown. Okay. And your Facebook site? It's Permanent Makeup by Shannon. Okay. And Shannon is spelled S H A N. S H A N A N. Okay, yes. so you spell it right. You can find her. And do you have a website? I do. It's www.permanentmakeupbyshannon.com. Okay. Now, I, I have um, an older sister, and she's gorgeous with gorgeous, thick eyebrows. And I have been thinking about coming to you to get them because mm. I, I had measles when I was younger, and it caused little scars in my eyebrows, which I always constantly have to fill in. Mm -hmm. So is that something that you can do? Absolutely. And um, when it comes to permanent cosmetics, the most natural approach is really the best approach to use, uh, particularly if somebody has like a scar or their eyebrows are missing uh, or they're you know, sparse, you can go in and just fill in and give the illusion of the brow mm -hmm. in a very natural appearance. So it won't look like a template or like it's been stamped on. And speaking of templates, you also help cancer I do. patients look their best when they've lost their hair. I do. So you can fill in their eyebrows and... Absolutely. There's a couple of different things that I'm able to do with uh, cancer patients. And also I'm, I work with like the areola reconstruction whenever the, someone has had breast cancer and they go in and have breast reconstruction. Um, particularly if someone is going through chemo and they have approval from their oncologist, I can go in and give them eyebrows or eyeliner when they lose their hair. So it's very, very cool. beneficial. And how long have you been doing this? Since January 2006. Long time. Mm -hmm. Several years. <laughs> very cool. So you do areola reconstruction for mastectomies. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been certified to do that? Um, whenever I got my license in 2006, okay. I got certified, and then I take in additional training classes. Do you have any services for men? I do. Um, it's not as popular for men, but sometimes uh, men have a need. It, particularly, it would be more medically based, um, or if they are missing hair. Uh, sometimes men require scar revision also, so I'm able to assist with that. Okay. And is the is the makeup truly permanent or do you have to come in to have touch up? It requires maintenance. Okay. Um, the permanent cosmetics, uh, the pigment that we use is different than tattoo ink and so the way that it's manufactured is manufactured specifically for the body and it does lighten over time. And it lightens naturally. It doesn't turn into strange crazy colors like some of the tattoo inks do over time. So it's really a great approach to come in very conservatively knowing that you will have to maintain it over time. Just come in for just a color boost every so often. One thing I also would be interested in, you know they have like the Revlon Color Stay Makeup, but it makes your lips look unnaturally caked with color. True. Do you do lip stains or lip tattooing? I do. I do. That is one of the services that I do provide um, is the permanent lip color. Uh, the, the finished product with permanent lip color is, is more of a stained look. It's more of a matte finish. You won't get the waxy appearance that lipstick will provide. So it's a very natural approach. And then if you want to put lip gloss on top, you certainly can. That is very neat, Shannon. And your phone number for people if they want to make? 918-724-5614. And your location again? 1223 South Peoria Avenue. And that's approximately where? At about 12th in Peoria. In Peoria. It's very close to downtown. Yeah. Is it something that a woman could do over her lunch break if she wanted to get her lips done or eyebrows done? Absolutely. Um, typically, I do tell people to plan for about two hours out of their day. and They're able to resume normal activity the same day. 
Uh, one thing they do need to plan for is the following day, you will have a little bit of residual swelling when you wake up, so. We'll be right back after this break. We've all been told that if we want our work to succeed, we have to use the right tools. Welcome back to Shop Local TV. I'm your host, Rabin Rogue, and Shannon's here for our, our trivia and pet of the day. So, our trivia is, this downtown pub has vintage arcade and cocktails. You can visit our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash shop local TV, and look for the answer. And our pet of the day, we have two sent in from Tanner Ryan. This is little Gibson with his stash. Very nice handlebars. He has mine <laughs> with, it, with his stash. It's very cute. And then, oh, the dog for me. Uh, this is Tug, and he's helping Tanner with the laundry. Doing the laundry. I need help tangled with that up. all the time. <laughs> yeah, tangled up. <laughs> it's very cute. All right, well, thanks for coming in, Shannon. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Shop Local TV. We'll see you tomorrow.